right you guys got another video here for you i'm not sure who requested this but it was someone in the comment section about installing a cube os they said it's not possible to install this on virtualbox so i thought i'd show you how you can go about doing it first you're going to need to download uh, cubes os now you don't want to get the version 4.0 because that's difficult to install you want to get the cube release uh, 3.2 download the ISO file and you should be okay to install that now I have tried to install uh, 4.0 but I had run into some difficulties so I went with the lower version and it seemed to install just fine so need to uh, get yourself a virtual box uh, and you can download this for free I'll leave the link in the video description click on new and we're going to create a brand new uh, virtual machine so I'm going to call this cube uh, space OS and uh, once you've done that, you can put Linux in here. And also we're going to be putting Fedora in here, which is Fedora 64 bit. So let me just put that in there. And also what we're going to do is bump up the memory to around about four gigs or something around there. Also, we're going to create a virtual hard disk uh, now uh, in the box radio button box down the below. And then all we need to do there is uh, click on the create. And this will create our virtual hard disk now we can go to vdi leave that as is you don't need to change that and also dynamically uh, allocated that will be fine you need to give it a bit of storage so we're going to give it 50 odd gigabytes here and then click on create so that's that done and now what we need to do here is set it up so we're going to hit the settings uh, here once we've highlighted cube os and inside here you can make some changes to your virtual machine so we're going to go to general you can see there's not a lot to change here so go into system and you can now make some changes in system so i'm going to enable the efi and we're going to put the tick in there and also up the top here which is your base memory you can leave that as is give it some cpu now depending on what cpu you've got you can either give it one or two if you've got a low end cpu but if you've got a bit more you can always put more in there okay so bear that in mind and at least them all ticked there as well so we're going to put a tick in enable pae as you can see here now the cpu as i said you can bump this up to whatever you like i'm going to give it four cores uh, because this is a bit of a beast to install so I'm just going to give that four cores there and uh, we should be OK. So make sure they're all set the way it is. Now on the display, you can bump this up to 128. And uh, you can see that's how I'm going to have that set there. Now on the uh, storage, uh, you're just going to need to locate that ISO that you downloaded. OK, so let me just quickly do that. So I'm going to go over to the CD-ROM here. And uh, the way you do that is just click on this and then click on the little CD up the top and then choose your ISO image. Uh, to what you want to install you can see I'm using the uh, 3.2 uh, version here once you've got that done you can click OK here and that's now going to be our virtual CD installed so now we can click on start and this will start the installation process now bearing in mind this is a very slow install it's not going to be super fast so you have to be patient you will get to this stage here click install uh, cubeos now you can choose your choose your language here for your uh, language and also your keyboard layout. So push continue here and you can see the keyboard up the top has now been selected automatically and we can choose the installation uh, destination. You can see it's saying automatic partition selected. So just click on this if you want to make changes and I'll quickly click on this to show you. So let me just uh, click here and you can see here this is our drive. It's selected that here. You can add a specialized network driver in here. Untick encrypt my drive and you can see automatically configure partitions. I'm going to leave that as is. Now once we've got that we can click done. And we can also now go down to begin installation. What you need to do here is uh, the user creation and also root password. So I'm just going to quickly set up a root password uh, for this account. So you can see here, uh, lock root account. Take the tick out of that and put in your root password to whatever you like here. OK, needs to be a strong one. Then also go over to user creation and create a user. I'm going to put in here Brightech and we need to give that account a password. So I'm just going to quickly uh, put in a quick password here. 
and there we go and you can see it's uh, there we go that's a bit better so just make sure you use a, a decent password if you're going to be using this of course and then click done so that process is now complete you can see it's starting to install and configure the uh, the uh, virtual machine here so just let that do its thing it will take a bit of time it's a long install so be patient okay and I've speeded this process up a little bit but you've not missed any steps so just follow all these steps and you should be pretty much good to go once that is all now completed we can now reboot our virtual machine and uh, just hit the reboot uh, button here there we go okay now what's going to happen is it's now going to boot up for the first time here then you can see a bunch of uh, text coming up on the screen don't worry about that and you'll see it loading in okay now again it is very slow to load in so don't if you think it's frozen it hasn't just let it uh, do its thing it will take a bit of time and once that's done it's just going to get a few more bits ready here so we'll just let that get to the login screen there we go so we've got the uh, initial setup here for uh, cube os so go in here and you'll see a bunch of ticks that you can mess around with if you want to I'm just going to leave that as is and click done and this will then start to prepare that for us now again once this has been completed uh, we can move on to the next step so what that's going to do is uh, configure the template and get that all uh, ready for us now again this process does take a fair bit of time I have speeded that process up now once you've done here finish the configuration this will give us the login screen here now just log in with your uh, user password here for your user account and click login and uh, you can see I've made a mistake here so just make sure that you spell that right uh, before you put that in so I'm trying to think of what I put in there there we go that's the one and we are now in so I'm going to use the default configuration here and you can see it's established a connection and uh, you've got all the features and all the other stuff uh, ready to use here so that's basically how you can install cube uh, or cubes os on a virtual box it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and uh, of course you do have all the features here which you can mess around with which i'll just go through here system you can see all your uh, global settings backup vms create vm loads of other bits and pieces inside here if you wanted to use these and uh, it seems pretty zippy so I'll just quickly show you here where you can open up your browser you can go into domain uh, personal and then personal Firefox and this will load up uh, Firefox as you can see here it's loaded down in there and uh, once that's done it will open up Firefox for you and you'll be able to browse the internet and stuff like that if you wanted to so you've got some other stuff here which you can see kill vm and other few settings inside here if you're familiar with this uh cubes os then obviously uh, you'll know what it's all about so i'm just going to click on this one more time here to take a look at files and there you go there's all your files documents downloads and stuff like that so anyway that's pretty much it so from there that's how you can install cubes os on virtualbox there is your browser opened up and I hope this one helps you out, whoever requested it. I can't remember who it was, but that's basically how you can do it. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.